Welcome back watch fiends. This is Chauncey from Bevelworks and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. What we have here is our very first cage match. Specifically it's our very first NATO cage match. Sitting in front of me and staring back at all of you we have our contenders. The most highly rated and popular NATOs you can find on Amazon right now. Nine NATOs will enter but only one will leave victorious. So stay tuned to see who triumphs in our very first NATO cage match. As I mentioned at the top, all of these straps were purchased with my own hard earned greenbacks. I wanted to find out what was the best NATO I could buy on Amazon in a pinch. That said, even with our nine contenders, it's likely I may have missed one that you think deserves consideration. If so, Leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do to get it into the studio. I'll be leaving a link to each of the contenders below in the description should you want to snag one. And just as a heads up, these are affiliate links, so by using these, you are supporting the channel and allowing me to bring you more content like this, all with no additional cost to you. Again, your continued support is very much appreciated. For all our contenders, I'll be trying them out on the SKX-013, which I all think we can agree is a bit of a strap monster. And to keep this video from being epically long, I'll highlight each of our contenders separately, and then at the end do a final breakdown of all their scores. Scoring will be based on the following criteria, build quality, buckling keepers, comfort, packaging and extras, and finally value. All right, I think it's time to jump into our very first NATO cage match with our first contender from Blue Shark. So the Blue Shark band that I have here was probably one of the more highly rated from Amazon, as well as one of the more suggested brands that I should look at for a NATO on some of the forums that I frequent. Um, it was also one of the more expensive bands at $18 from Amazon. I was a little bit disappointed in the packaging itself. It came in pretty much as you're seeing it here, simple plastic sleeve. Um, for a premium product, you expect you know something with branding on it. That being said, perhaps they put all the money into the actual band itself, which you could kind of tell from the build quality. It was really nice build quality on this, really tight stitching around the hardware, reinforced around that hardware, hardware itself being branded, which was super nice. Um, no reinforcement around the holes, though ample size, so no fear of fraying. Pretty confident in that. Uh, not the most comfortable band I would try on this day, but definitely one that I, I would definitely recommend to anyone that's looking to get a premium band um, in the future. Uh, not being that being a tubular nylon, just not nearly as comfortable as some of the seat belt nylons. So build quality, I would give this a three. Uh, really strong build quality on this particular band. Buckles and keepers also a three. Like that branded buckle on there, premium feeling. Uh, comfort was a two, not nearly as comfortable as some of the, the seatbelt nylons. Packaging and extras, I gave a one. Um, simple plastic sleeve. And then a value of two at $18 while being expensive. I think you're getting a really high quality band here. And for our next contender, a band from Riche. Hopefully I didn't brutally pronounce that name. But um, my initial impressions of this band were really strong. I like the fact that it came in a branded sleeve. Made you feel like you are buying a premium product. Also came with an extra spring bar tool and several spring bars. Be useful for some, not so much for me. I now have a ton of these after buying so many bands. But for someone buying their first NATO, it could become very useful. Uh, initial impressions of the actual material were really strong. This is a seatbelt premium nylon, so it felt really nice. A little bit of issues with some of the finishing around the edge of one of the uh, band, part of the band, some fraying, but outside that, really nice materials. Reinforced stitching around the hardware itself, coming around the edges. Unbranded buckle, but premium hardware set. The holes in this band were uh, seemed to be heat weld reinforced, which is really nice and one of the only ones to do it. Uh, of all the bands that I would try on today. The actual material of the band was a little bit rigid, so it allowed the watch to kind of sit off my wrist a little bit more than I would be happy with. So after a couple of break-ins worn in that band, it would probably be much more comfortable. Build quality, I would give this band a two. Um, I think outside that fraying, that was the only issue. The buckles and keepers, also I gave a three. Um, really nice hardware set here. Comfort a two, again, sitting off my wrist a little bit more than I would like. Packaging and extras, I give a two. Uh, I really didn't need the spring bar tool or the spring bars. And a value of three. I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck at 
Next in the cage we have a band from Once Will. This was definitely the most expensive band I would buy on Amazon at $26. Again, that price is comparatively to all the other bands I purchased that day. The initial perceived value is actually fairly strong for this band. I like the fact that it came in a branded box and this branded sleeve. I found much more use for this uh, plastic sleeve than I would ever for an additional spring bars or a spring bar tool, which I already have. Um, band material was really supple, super comfortable. I wasn't a huge fan of the actual hardware. It's polished and didn't feel as heavy a gauge as some of the other hardware sets I would find on all the other bands, though the buckles were branded. The holes on the, the, the actual band weren't reinforced. Um, they were large enough. I don't know how long they would uh, hold up over time. Uh, there was a super supple material. It felt more like cloth than a nylon, so it gave me the feeling like over time this may fray, but only time will actually tell. Um, all in all, I would say that the build quality of this particular band was rounded around a 2. Uh, it was tightly stitched around that hardware. The buckles and keepers, I gave a 1. Again, I felt like it could just be a little bit nicer. Comfort, super comfortable band, premium nylon. Uh, you're not going to find a, a more comfortable band than this. Packaging and extras, I would say, is a three for me personally. And then a value of one. I think at $26, this was one of the more expensive bands on the day. And for our next contender, we have a band from PB Code. This, again, was one of the more highly rated bands on Amazon, though um, I would say at $13.99, it was priced very competitively. came with a nice spring bar tool and spring bars. Uh, this one came with a nice branded polishing cloth and uh, came in this simple plastic sleeve. I'd say in terms of that perceived value of buying a premium product, it really wasn't there with that padded packet, packet uh, envelope, but I guess you're getting the, your money is getting put into the band itself. Felt like this was one of the more highly quality built bands that I would try out on the day. Very tight, nice stitching reinforced around the hardware itself. The hardware, while polished, it felt very premium, high gauge. The actual holes were ample sized. I never feared that I was going to be fraying this band in the future. Um, while the material was uh, that seatbelt nylon, not nearly as supple as the others, and but not nearly as rigid as I would say the uh, Riche band it sat really comfortably on the wrist when I put it on. Um, in terms of the overall build quality, I would give this a three. Really nice build quality for what you're getting here. Um, in terms of the buckles and keepers, also a three. Wasn't a fan of the polishing, but I can uh, let that slide. The comfort, again, the three, really sat nice and close to the wrist. Packaging and extras, I'd say a one. To be honest, I don't need the spring bar tools, and I didn't feel like I was buying a premium product. And then a value at two. I think it's a really good value here. Next band in the ring is one from Hemset. This was the only other branded band that came in a box, so that perceived value was really strong with this particular one, but you weren't paying for it like you were with the Once Will. Coming in at $13.59, this was priced very competitively. Came with this really nice polishing cloth along with an extra spring bar and spring bar tools. Like I said, I'm going to have a ton of those after this is all said and done. Uh, the actual quality of the material, it's that seat belt premium nylon, so it felt really nice on the wrist, though. The material itself is super rigid, and that will come later in terms of the comfort. Um, I would say really nicely built, really tight stitching around the hardware. Hardware itself, while it did have that branded buckle, I felt like the actual keepers were a little too tight for how the band folded over. Once I put the band on and it folded back down and I wanted to curl it back under those keepers, it would made it really difficult to, to kind of sit nicely, and the material being so rigid, it sat up on my wrist a little bit more than I would like. Build quality, I'd say this is a three. Um, in terms of buckles and keepers, it was a two. It would be nice if the keeper just a little bit more room. Um, the comfort was a two, and I think that if you know a little bit more wear in, that rigidness would go away. Packaging and extras, I really liked. Three here, probably the most bang for your buck out of everything you see today. Value three, obviously. Next contender up is a band from Speedel. This was definitely the most economically priced band I would purchase at $11.95. You definitely get what you pay for. Came in this plastic case, um, which for some might say that it would be nice to protect the band, but we're talking about material here that's going to be worn all the time. I would prefer to simplify packaging and that money to go right into the band itself. 
Uh, the band material is a tubular nylon. It was one of two that I would buy, the other one being that Blue Shark. The actual material was fairly, it was it was all right. And the best thing I could pair it to is the Timex Weekender, if you're familiar with those bands. Build quality was not very strong here. Uh, Fear of fraying, where we had the punched holes. Uh, the actual band didn't line up where it was coming down stitched. The buckles and keepers didn't feel like they were very premium at all. Uh, that being said, it wasn't the worst nylon, but I would never recommend this one and unless you're just in love with the color and the look of the keepers. Um, there's many out there that I would suggest over this one. Build quality, I'd give a one. Nothing more to say about that. Buckles and keepers as well, just a one. Nothing to write home about. Uh, comfort, I'd say is a two. Wasn't the worst wearing band that I've ever had. Uh, packaging and extras say so as a one I'd say almost a zero in this case and then a value of two though I think I'm being fairly generous next band up is one from Bin Loon so first off the bat this one was probably one of the more cheaper options out there at $12.99 probably just coming right over that speedle band but you're getting a lot more here than what you're getting with that speedle band you get a nice polishing cloth a spring bar tool and uh, some extra spring bars quality here I would say is what you're losing out on uh, while it is that premium nylon material which is quite nice um, the actual finishing could have been a little bit nicer the band when it was stitched over and wrapped down it didn't really uh, line up all that well the stitching uh, while tight where it was it didn't come over the edges it reinforced like some of the better bands out there the buckle and hardware I'd say was really nice actually nice uh, satin finish to those felt premium the holes, uh, ample size, never any fear of actually um, uh, fraying over overuse, and fairly comfortable band. I think it actually sat really nice on the wrist, super comfortable. Um, definitely would not hesitate to recommend this in terms of uh, a band for your first one, though I think there's better options out there. Build quality, I gave a one. Again, that, that stitching and how it looped over, it didn't feel like it was finished all that well. Buckles and keepers, I gave a two. Um, Decent quality. Uh, comfort, I gave a three. Super comfortable band for what it was. Packaging and extras, gave a two. Wasn't in love with it. Uh, didn't feel like I was buying a premium product. And then overall value of two. I think you're getting a lot of bang for your buck with this one. Next contender up is a band from Working Off. Um, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly. This one was one of the more highly uh, priced ones at $17.49 comparatively again. Um, but this was very similar to that once will band, um, though you're not paying uh, the extra premium of that $26 for all the additional packaging. Material is very similar, very supple. I really like the sheen on this particular band. Really kind of the light just catches it just really nicely. Preferred the actual hardware on this particular band. While similar to the once will, uh, the, the actual hardware felt a little bit more premium. It was a satin sheen and it was branded. Uh, both the, the buckle and the keeper. This particular ke the keeper here was a loose keeper, which made it really easy to adjust on my wrist um, for the comfort sake. Uh, similar to that once will, uh, don't know how long the it would prevent fraying for where those holes come in, but willing to give it the benefit of the doubt for how comfortable really that this band sat on my wrist. Um, definitely would recommend for any of those folks that, that really want a really nice band to be wearing day in and day out. Build quality, I give it a two. Um, nice build quality to this band. Buckles and keepers, three. Really like these buckles and keepers. Uh, comfort, definitely a three, almost a four to be honest. Probably most comfortable band I wear all day. Packaging and extras, a two. Um, not nearly as good as that once will, but you're not paying for it. And then a value of two overall. And then finally, last in the ring is the Barton Jetson. This uh, was a strap I've actually owned. That's why it's not going to be uh, unpackaged here. I just want to include it since it was such a popular band that's on uh, Amazon. This one I purchased it for $19.50, but you can find these at various price points depending on the actual style. I uh, really like this band. It's a little different from all the others and the fact that the keeper is an, uh, just kind of a rolled over NATO part. Makes it super comfortable and easy to adjust for me. You can see a little bit of fraying where that hole is, but I've really worn the heck out of this particular band, so I can imagine that uh, it was going to see some uh, see some damage 
day in and day out the way that I wear my bands. Um, uh, super comfortable, can't say more than that. Nice buckles and keepers. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be reinforced where those keepers are. Uh, build quality, I would say a three. You're definitely getting a lot of uh, a really nice band uh, from Barton. Buckles and keepers, I gave a three. I, uh, you know, unless you really love the look of those metal keepers. Comfort, a three. Super comfortable band. Packaging and extras. This came in a very uh, similar band uh, packaging to the Riche. So, value is a two, um, depending on which price point you get it at. And here we have a last shot of all nine of our contenders. But as I mentioned at the top, there can only be one Highlander style. Tallying up the points earned, the band walking out of the cage today with a total of 13 points and the title for best GD NATO band you can buy on Amazon is The Hemsoot. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. To wrap up our first ever NATO cage match. I will say while we crowned a worthy winner, I think that there are several of these bands that are still worth your consideration. I would recommend the Barton Jetson and the Working Off band specifically. And if you're into that tubular nylon type band, definitely take a look at the Blue Shark band. It was very high quality and I consider it a premium type band as well. The best part about NATO bands is the combination of low cost and the sheer variety available out there. And if I could leave you with a final tip. I'd say the next time that you're getting the itch to buy a new watch, consider first purchasing a new band for one of your current watches. Not only will this change up the look of your watch, it might actually make you fall in love with it all over again. And if you're like me, not only will you have gotten your fix, but you'll also have avoided another conversation with the wife where you unsuccessfully try to justify a watch purchase. Guys, gals, natives save marriages. There. I said it. All right, if you stayed this long, we'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. And if for some reason you enjoyed this video that is now as long as a featured film, please consider clicking to subscribe along with the bell so that you can be notified when we post our next episode. And until next time, guys, cheers. Cheers.